It's time to talk about rotating conic sections. So the general equation for a conic section has the form some constant a x squared plus constant b x y plus c y squared plus d x plus e y plus f equals zero. So the conic sections we've discussed so far all have this term equal to zero. Now recognize these terms essentially just shift the shape uh, left and right. We've already done translations of those shapes, but think about if A and B were um, the only non-zero terms here, if B was zero. Well, if you had, say, x squared and C was zero, right? If you had an x squared and maybe a, a, an x term and a y term, well, you could imagine that's going to be a parabola, right? If x squared, if A was non-zero and C was non-zero, well, if they're both positive, if you have an x squared plus 2y squared plus blah blah, you can imagine that's an ellipse, right? Well, if they're both negative, multiply everything by negative 1, and you've got that again. And the last sort of category we had is what if it's like x squared minus 2y squared? Well, that's pretty clearly a hyperbola. But what happens if this term is non-zero? When it's non-zero, we need to work with a more convenient set of axes by rotating the original axes appropriately, okay? So what we're going to do to start with is derive rotation equations for a conic section, okay? Let's imagine you have an ellipse, and the ellipse is just not with major axis horizontal or vertical, right? Well, this is still an ellipse. How do we deal with something like that? Well, this is what we do. If the xy axes are rotated through an angle theta, the coordinates of a point xy in the xy plane are related to the coordinates uh, in the x prime y prime plane by the following equations. So let's work out those equations. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is I'm actually going to describe to you if this is the x and that's the y direction, how would you describe this distance? Now, I will describe this distance as 1x, 1 in the x direction. Let's imagine we've rotated now by some theta. Okay, that's rotated, that's rotated counterclockwise by theta. And let's call this x prime direction and let's call that y prime direction. So that's 1 in the x direction, that would be 1 in the x prime direction, that would be 1 in the y direction, right there, that would be 1 in the y prime direction. How do you use x primes and y primes to get to x? Well, certainly you're going to have to go out a certain amount in the x prime direction, and then you're going to have to go a certain distance negative, so x is going to be a certain amount in the x prime direction minus a certain amount in the y prime direction. But what are those side lengths? Well, think about this. You have, a, you have a right triangle with an angle theta and a hypotenuse of one. That makes the adjacent side exactly cosine of theta, right? Uh, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And the opposite side is exactly sine theta. That means how far do I go in the x prime direction? I go cosine theta. How far do I go in the y prime direction? Well, I go the opposite direction, a distance of sine theta. Okay? How, and the second equation that I have is I have, let's see, to get to y, I guess I would go, um, and it might be most natural here since I'm thinking of it this direction, I'd go a certain distance in the y prime direction. Well, that's again the adjacent side with hypotenuse one, so that's cosine. So I'm gonna go cosine theta in the y prime direction, and this opposite side is still sine theta. That's how far I go in the x prime direction. Those are called the rotation equations, okay? And the rotation equations are useful when you're trying to rotate a shape. So let's imagine you have a shape 
like this. You have something like x squared plus 2xy plus 3, y squared plus 4, x plus 5, y plus 6 equals 0, right? Some messy shape like that. And you want to rotate that shape. If you want to rotate it, what you're going to do is every place you see x, you're going to substitute that in. And every place you see y, you're going to substitute this equation in. That's going to get you a new equation that exclusively uses the x prime and the y prime directions.